Hey guys, welcome to Arihant Online Academy. In this video, we will learn about the second lecture of operating system, dual mode operations and layered approach. As we have discussed in previous the basics of operating system and as we are discussing each and every topic from very basics. So this is just lecture number two and we will further deliver the next lectures in our upcoming videos. So please subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon button so that you can get much more updates from our channel and you can score more in your exams right so let's start the dual mode operation so what is dual mode operation right in operating system in the hardware level instructions are executed in two different modes okay in hardware level if we want to execute the instructions then they are executed in two different modes what are they uh, as they are executed in two different modes that's why they are called as dual mode operations right now the first is user mode or you can also say that known privilege mode and the second is kernel mode you can also say kernel mode as a privilege mode or system mode or supervisory mode right so these are the two types of dual mode operations which are just using in operating system user mode is known privileged and kernel mode is privileged now you just need to take information that mode bit kernel mode is represented by bit 0 and user mode is represented by bit 1 why we used bit representation for kernel mode and user mode you will learn in our next upcoming slides right now <coughs> user mode you can also make it as a memory structure or in a operating system wise that user mode is a non privilege mode and kernel mode is a privilege mode you can make diagram you can simultaneously make notes of yours in your uh, copy by pausing the videos at the several intervals and after that you can resume the video and you can also make uh, current notes so that you can revise it properly right now the dual mode operation is used in order to provide protection and security to user program and also operating system from errant users means the basic goal of dual mode operation is that we want the protection and security to user program that's why we use dual mode operations right next is it is purely decision of operating system okay it is purely the decision of operating system in which particular mode instructions has to be executed and generally privilege instructions are executed in kernel mode and known privilege instructions are executed in user mode so these are the theoretical points you may have the knowledge of it so that you can get <clears throat> much and more concept from that and you can't confuse in our upcoming concepts whether we will use this concept right so this is a theoretical point is very important for the gate net or whatever exams you are preparing for company purpose or whatever right because these points make your conceptually strong from the basics of operating system mode bit is used to identify in which particular mode current instructions are executing right suppose if you are using zero bit then we have discussed here means kernel mode is using and if the bit will be one then you can also identify that it is a user mode right so mode bit is used to identify in which particular mode current instructions are executing the second is the operating system always runs in kernel mode by default this question may be asked many times in theoretical type questions that operating system always runs in kernel mode by default in which mode operating system runs so you can answer it as kernel mode right the next is in booting time system always starts in kernel mode whenever your uh, pc boots whether it's cold boot or warm boot right so at the booting time system always starts in kernel mode and the mode switching takes very less time compared to process switching this is also asked in one time uh, in a reasoning type question that mode switching takes greater time or less time right so mode switching means mode switching means from kernel mode to user mode it takes very less time compared to process switching right process switching is switching a different process and mode switching is switching the different mode like user mode or kernel mode right so these are very important points for the purpose of your exam so you can make note of that now what are the types of privilege instructions so these are several types of privilege instructions io operations input output operations context switching disable the dis interrupt जो इंटरप्ट आते हैं उसको आप डिसेबल करते हैं वो भी प्रिविलेज इंस्ट्रक्शन है क्लियरिंग द मेमोरी मैप चेंजिंग द मेमोरी मैप एंड सेट द टाइम ऑफ क्लॉक तो ये जितने इंस्ट्रक्शन हैं जो कि ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम के अंदर यूज होते हैं ये सारे प्रिविलेज इंस्ट्रक्शन इनको कहा जाता है 
ये आप थियोरिटिकल पॉइंट के हिसाब से इसको तैयार कर सकते हैं कि किस टाइप के क्वेश्चंस वहाँ पे आ सकते हैं दे सकते हैं दो सेट प्रीविलेज इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड नॉन प्रीविलेज इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड यू हैव टू मैच आउट द सेट वन टू सेट टू सो फॉर देट यू हैव टू नो ऑल दिस अबाउट इट नॉन प्रीविलेज इंस्ट्रक्शन नॉन प्रीविलेज इंस्ट्रक्शन इज रीडिंग टाइम ऑफ क्लॉक रीडिंग स्टेटस ऑफ अ प्रोग्राम एंड सेंडिंग द फाइनल प्रिंट आउटपुट टू द प्रिंटर राइट सो दिस आर टाइप ऑफ नॉन प्रीविलेज इंस्ट्रक्शन Now layered approach. What is the layered approach? So these are the type of layer approach you can make a diagram of this. This layer one is process management, then memory management layer two, file management layer three, device management layer four, and protection and security is layer five. This whenever you want to design any operating system or whenever you want to implement an operating system, we work in layer wise manner so that we can manage each and every aspect of operating system in. specific layer means if we want to modify file management then we didn't did not disturb memory management or device management right so our operating system will work modularity and with abstraction so that we are using that's why we are using <coughs> operating system in a layered approach right so what are the layered approach process management memory management file management device management and protection and security Design and implementation of operating system will be done in multiple layers as per the functionality. Main advantage of the layered approach is modularity and abstraction. So modularity and abstractions are the main advantage of layered approach. Modularity means if any layer is getting updated, then it will not have any effect on other layer. It means it is easy to modify or change, right? Suppose we want to modify or change protection security layer. then we will just want to modify this layer or we want to edits in this layer right so this fold other layers will not get disturbed by that so this is the best advantage of the layered approach right so layered approach is best approach if we are talk about operating system because it will work in a modularity and abstraction way so guys this is over from our side from this lecture in our next lecture we will discuss about process management right and these are very basic as i have discussed from you that uh, we will discuss from very basics and we will try to cover each and every topic so that you can get much and more knowledge from our side so further if you have any kind of doubt or query you can comment us so we will try to solve your query on our social pages so guys please subscribe and please press the bell icon button so that you can get more and more updates from our side thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat